In this tutorial, we will create a click track in Pro Tools 10. First off, we want to go to Track. The bottom says Create Click Track. And we see we have a new track. It's basically an auxiliary input track, you can tell by the arrow, with a click virtual instrument. Let me press play and see if we have any sound. Okay, right now we're not hearing anything. And that is because the metronome icon is not highlighted. So let's highlight that and try it again. And there's our click. Functional, but not that interesting. If we wanted to change some of the settings, like will the click play during record and playback, is there a count off? We can get there a couple of ways. We can double click the metronome. We have these choices. Or we can go up to the setup window and choose click count off. Now this is a little bit tricky because on the 101 exam they often ask where do you access the click count off options and you think oh the options menu but that is not true it's the setup menu even though it says options in the title of the window. Okay you can see what we have set here if you have an external MIDI device and you want the click to be generated there like a drum machine or something like that you could choose that device from this menu but we're going to use the virtual instrument in the computer so we leave that the same. Okay like I said this click is functional but not that interesting there is a much cooler click that's available in Pro Tools if we click on the insert go to instrument and go to TL Metro that's Metro meaning metronome and we see this window already looks more interesting and in this metronome we can actually add subdivisions of the beat with different sounds so let me pull up a couple of these and press play again already more interesting you can turn off subdivisions change their balance all that stuff note this section here it says link status transport and tempo that means when you hit the play bar it'll lock to the tempo so if I change this to none and I press play we don't hear anything but if you wanted to hear the metronome as a standalone metronome like to practice with before you record you can play it separately there's a couple of presets that might be useful maybe I'll go to the rim click it changes the sounds here notice the link status is none so I'll change the transport tempo and press play here's some different sounds and it's cool because you can actually choose from a large list of sounds for each note and subdivision like I could choose cowbell there's a cowbell and I could choose some other sound like that. So this metronome is definitely more versatile.